testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back. Uh, some big news today uh, from one of my favorite fighters to watch, Gilberto Zorro Ramirez. Um, looks like he's going to move up to Cruiserweight. He's just a challenge to one of the champs. We're, we're going to get into it real quick. Uh, before we do, please like and subscribe. 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing blog, and all forms of social media. Uh, quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day, to keep you up to date on the latest, greatest boxing news and rumors. All right, let's get into this. Uh, and also, please subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Texas Boxing Scene. Um, all right, let's get into Gilberto Ramirez. Um, has issued a challenge to WBC Cruiserweight Champion Elanga Makabu. Um, obviously, you, you remember Makabu's name. Um, he recently won the WBC Cruiserweight title. Um, he's, 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 he was uh, in discussions for a Canelo fight. It didn't happen. Um, but somehow he became the, you know, the most popular girl in school. He's, 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 he's the prettiest girl in school. And everyone wants to dance with him. Um, and now Zoro Ramirez is issued a, a challenge. He wants to go up to, to cruiserweight and fight Makabu. I think this is a good move. Um, Makabu, um, won, uh, the, the, the Cruiserweight title back in uh, 2020. Uh, he won a vacant title from Michael Sisliak. Uh, he's defended it twice with a TKO7 and then in a, and then a, a close split decision um, in the United States um, over, uh, I'm going to say this name wrong, the Basu Chuno, the Bisu Chuno. Um, so lo- those are two defenses. Like he, He's got two wins, Nakamura does. Alexi Pappen and Michael Sislak are his two are his two wins of note. Um, he's an inside fighter. You know he, he's smallish. He's about six foot tall. He's a southpaw. He gets on the inside well. He fights on the inside well. Um, so Gabota Ramirez, who also fights on the inside well, would have, you know, this would be a fun fight. Is is what I'm saying? It, Ramirez could win the fight from the outside, but you know that's not Ramirez's flavor. Um, I, I think Ramirez has done well as a light heavyweight. He's four and zero. Um. Four knockouts. He's beaten Carpensi, Alfonso Lopez, Southern Barrera, and Yuniski Gonzalez. So it's gotten increasingly difficult for him. Um, the level of opposition. And that's decent opposition. Um, but he he's not getting the Bavol right now. Bavol's fighting Canelo. I don't think he believes he's, he's going to land a Canelo fight. Um, I don't think he, 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 he thinks that right now. So he's looking for other options. He wants a Joe Smith fight. He really wants to fight any of the champions. He wants a belt. He wants a world title. He held, held a belt for a while at 168, and now I think he wants to go to 75. And um, you get a belt. He's at 70. I mean, he wants to go up to Cruiserweight now and get a belt. His ultimate goal is, is what he said so, several times. Ultimately, he wants to be the heavyweight champion. Like, he's 6'2 and a half, 6'3. Um, I, I think you know, if he can bulk up a little bit, he's got the frame for it. Um, he he'd be a skilled heavyweight. You know, look, the heavyweights right now, Usyk is is not going to fight forever. Usyk's going to retire sooner rather than later. Um, Tyson Fury is not the way he treated his body, how out of shape he gets, how much weight he's not going to have a long stay, so he's going to be out. Um, so there's going to be a new generation of of heavyweights. Wow is on his way out, right? I'm not saying while is on, but while is in his mid, I think he's 35 or 36 now, All right? He's on his way out. Um, Anthony Joshua is well into his 30s. He's on his way out, right? So there's going to be a new era of heavyweight champions. Uh, if Gabriel Ramirez bulks, bulks himself up, gets the right path, I think he could win a heavyweight title. And I know that sounds crazy, but he's got the skill. Like, this is a good era of heavyweights. It really is. Um, typically, guys like Gilberto Ramirez, Get a belt. I'm not saying he's gonna be a long reigning belt. He's gonna unify belt. He can get a belt. You know when they all become vacant, when you know when when Usyk beats Fury and then retires, all the belts are gonna be vacant. Can he get one? He could probably get one. Charles Martin got one. Um, 
But I think Ramirez is a good fighter. He gets hit too much, and that's the problem at the heavyweight division. I, I don't know that he's going to have the power to get people out, uh, but he, he, he can be knocked out in, in a heavyweight fight. We saw this with Gonzalez. He just got hit way too often. He's a fun fighter. He's a pressure fighter. He's got the size and height and reach to be a heavyweight. Um, he's got the skills to do it. I just, he needs to stop getting hit so much. Um, you know, but I look, Macaboo, I, I think he's a good fighter. I think it's a good fight. Um, I, I know a lot of people really aren't familiar with him. He has a sport that you, um, but I, I think it's an interesting fight. I, I really do. I think it's an intriguing fight. It would put Macaboo on a big stage in the U.S., uh, would make Ramirez a two division world champion. And obviously, look, like, if you do that, if you beat Macaboo, um, and become the WBC cruiserweight champ, people are going to stop putting talking about you. Um, you know, moving up to heavyweight, right? I mean, it's a natural progression. You you win belts at, at, at cruiserweight. You look impressive at doing that. People are going to start talking about, well, what could you do with the big boys? What can you do at the heavyweight? What can you do with, you know, the, you know, the heavyweight title is most coveted possession in sports. Can you get it? You know, and I, I think you get a version of it at some point. If he, if he stays the course, he bulks up, you know, he puts 20 pounds on, right? Because with Usyk, he didn't want to put weight on him. What with Ramirez you do, right? So I, I think this is a good step. You know, Ramirez has said many, many times he wants to be the heavyweight champion of the world. You know, it seems like a, a lofty goal, um, but I think it can be done. Um, I, I think there's a path to it. I think the path starts to beating Macaboo. Um, if he loses, so he goes back and he fights his cruiser. He fights a lot heavy. Who cares, right? Um, but if he wins, it's, it's a step in the right direction. You know, Gilberto Ramirez is is a marketable guy. He's a good guy. He's an intelligent guy. Um, he's got everything you'd want to market him, which is why he's kind of gone on his own. Does I know he works for Golden Boy, but he's got Zoro Ramirez Promotions or whatever it's called, Zoro Promotions. He signed a kid Scrappy. That's his fighter, um, John Ramirez. Um, he's a smart guy. He's an intelligent guy. He's a good looking guy. And he's a fun fighter to watch. So he's marketable. He's marketable. I, I I think he just needs a big stage, and I I, I think the heavyweight division is right for him. But he's got to stop getting hit so much, right? If you think Gisky Gonzalez can punch, which he can, which he can, um, wait till you get hit by a heavyweight. Wait till you get hit by Dillian White, Derek Chisora, Anthony Joshua, Deontay Wilder, Louis, Louis Ortiz. Wait till you, you got to stop getting hit so much. But he's got the skills to win fights. He just needs to work on not getting hit so much. Um, so, all, you know, but I know there's going to be haters out there that think this is a stupid fight. Why is he doing this? Who, who is Macabo? He's a cruiserweight champ. He's a WBC cruiserweight champ. What's wrong with going to fighting him? I don't know how, why, of all the cruiserweight champs, why he, he's the one that's getting all the love. He's going to, he's not the best. <laughs> I don't know, but he's, he's got about, he's, he's a legitimate champ. He's defended a couple times. So, it, it, it's, you know, while Ramirez is not getting the Canelo fight, I, I don't see anything wrong with this at all. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, all from social media. Quick Hits comes at you every day, 8 to 10 minutes a day. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Quick Hit, uh, Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Uh, from Texas to the world, thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.